I got a lot of questions about the update of Prisma 3D. And now in this video, I'm going to answer all of the questions one by one. So let's get started. Alright, here we go. First of all, let's pay attention to the most common question of you guys. And that's definitely about the release date. And unfortunately, I should say, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. And the developers didn't actually say anything about it. But as soon as I get an answer from them, I will update the information in the description. So don't forget to check the description right now. The first comment is about UV maps and uh, sadly I have to say that there is nothing new about the way you apply textures in the new version. This feature is really necessary but you will never need Prisma 3D since we have Nomad's Copt. So try that in a set. Okay, the next guy is asking about the displacement maps and I have to say that bro don't ask for the moon, we don't even have the ability to do many basic jobs in the app and a displacement map uh, is too much you know but happily Recon 4D is having normal maps right now in the update which I recommend to you instead and now this bro just said the sky and I don't even know what does he mean but it's good to know that the new version has a new skybox but unfortunately no ability to import images for the camera background as HDRIs yet okay now he's asking about my device model it's a galaxy a73 5g with 8 gigabytes of ram okay the next comment and so the other rigger is actually disabled right now but it will be added again for the final and official version so no worries and now my very dear friend is asking about the immersive trick which i've already explained in the previous video so make sure to watch that the link is in the description and yes it still exists and is not going to be removed so soon so don't worry about that and yes, that's a very useful feature. So please don't forget to watch that video. And the next comment. No friend, there isn't a feature about it yet. But I have a trick that lets you paint each of them separately. And that's also in the description. Okay, and now how is it like? I don't like the looks to be honest and I really prefer the old UI and I can never believe that the previous UI and the new one have the same designer because the previous one was very more professional and I'm much more okay with it but chill there is nothing bad about it we can easily get used to it and they will look good enough for a modern app and Mr. Wood, for your first question, I have to say that the frame rate isn't currently adjustable, but you will have it in the final version for sure. For the modeling tools, I gotta say, there is literally nothing added to the modeling tools and all the previous ones are the same. The third one... No, we don't have smoke effects yet, but we still have transparent PNGs. And yes, you can still animate frame by frame, and that hasn't changed. And about the simulations, I should say, sadly there is no simulation feature in Prisma 3D. But yes, we got graphs, happily PBR support, model presets, and you can add any font you like to the app. But no reflection yet. And about the sculpting tools, I should say sculpting was never the target of the app. So don't look for it. The best app you can find to sculpt models is Nomad Sculpt one of the best apps that I've worked with. 
so make sure to try it and don't miss it. Well, your comment, yes, the bug is fixed on my device and there's a high chance that it's fixed on yours too. And for the like, fortunately, I made a video about it and showed that it's a little smoother and yes, we can feel it. And that's a very good news. But at what cost? There is a very large downgrade in graphics and I don't like it at all. Okay, the GLB format, I have to tell you that the app is still unable to import the textures, sadly. But the good thing is that we have PBR support now. And there's a render from my, one of my friends displaying the new PBR support for the app. And it looks sick. Alright, let's look at the next comment. How can I get motion blur? Oh, sorry friend, but there is no feature to let you add motion blur in the app, but instead you can use CapCut to add the motion blur after rendering. Okay, it's the last comment, and the presets are temporarily disabled, but if it's getting added in the final version, it will look like this. And don't worry, I'm sure that it will be added in the final version. Okay guys, the video is finished, thanks for watching so far, stay low poly, have a good day.